one. As we know, Jesus uses images of everyday life when he teaches with parables. The sower and the seed is one of the parables which we have heard many times. The basic point of the parable is, of course, the fact that the seed is the word of God that is sown in the world. As the parable continues as presented in the gospel, we realize that Jesus is telling us of the different dangers that we will experience in life. If we persevere and meet and overcome these dangers and trials, we will produce good fruit in our families, among our friends, and in our world. The thing is, as we might realize mentioning the groups above, it isn't enough to bring ourselves, we have to bring others because we are seeds and seeds multiply. Some of us may live our lives worrying lots about things we can't control. For example, pursuing money only as our absolute security or focusing only on wanting comfortable, enjoyable lives. The problem with this is that we sometimes then do not notice the needs of other people who might be right in front of us, even members of our own family. St. Paul says that the seeds you sow are not brought to life unless those seeds die. If the seeds die, they bear much more fruit. Overcoming our selfishness is just that, dying to ourselves to exemplify God's love to other people. Let's try to keep building God's kingdom with acts of love. Have a blessed week.